extra guards actually will destroy first search later episode number seven where we go over tips and tricks over perfect quote unquote you know gameplay on search to destroy maps you know a lot of kills or as many as i can get with zero deaths um here i am sub base using the rpd i just finished the l86 last night and uh i definitely like this better it seems like there's a lot less recoil and uh the one thing I love about the, you know, LMGs is the fact that you can totally just let loose. There's one guy left, you got like FMJ on, or you know a guy might come back around the corner to get you, you just hold down the trigger, especially if it's at like close range. And you sort of have to, but anyway, aside from that, I was the bomb runner, uh, went left, called it that we wanted to go to A. Team spread thin, people went to the right, and unfortunately, my bomb security died, so now I was, you know, left with one other, one other person that was, you know, not around me. I told the other guy, you know, I asked him to come over to where I was, and uh, so he's now on our side. He used the UAV, so now we're, you know, regrouped. Uh, we know they're over there, and when you when you walk with the radar on and the person's off your mini map, instead of checking your big map, you can almost tell the distance they are based on where they move. If they move a lot slower on your mini map versus you, you could tell they're farther away. So. Or, you know, like when you rotate and you, you... You know what I'm talking about. So, um... Another thing. Alright, so he, you know, he unfortunately gets shot. So, I, uh... I got that guy for four kills, and then... Since we have the bomb planted, there's one guy left. I just camp it out. You know, I'm not trying to... I'm trying to play the best possible. I'm not trying to go showboat or anything. So, um... Yeah, I mean, he's going to lose if he doesn't come for it, and I get him for the Predator. Uh, that guy I killed on the roof earlier, he was running around, so he didn't have me, you know, targeted. He didn't see me, which was good, because if he did, um, he'd start hard scoping. And if I got in the cover and came back out, he'd have me hard scoped. And if he's sniping, you're pretty much done. Uh, if they're it's just a decent, you know, sniper, because he's hard scoping. So, you know, if anybody, sniper or not, if they... Uh, if they see you, and they, even if, you know, whether they think that you see them or not, they're going to hard scope that corner or cover, hoping you come back out. And you're going to get shot up, regardless, you know. There's no point to try and get them from far away, because if they have, have, have you hard scoped from that far away already, you're done. So I see the guy get killed in the middle. I didn't notice that he killed the guy also in front of him, but, you know, I'm being careful anyway. I got a, you know, a multi-kill, triple kill. I, I love the maps where there's a small building that everybody runs to when you have a predator, and it's a small hole to get them all, and that's what happened. So since I was still in the spawn, uh, you know, I was pretty secure. I went and switched back to my stopping power class since I got my third kill streak. And, uh, yeah. Here we are. You can tell, you know, I'm not the bomb runner, so I'm watching the left side. He's going to plant the bomb, and we have somebody else off getting on the roof. So we have the back right corner pretty secure. No one's going to get around us to the left. And uh, I'm not going to use my Harrier for, you know, the three people that were left. I'm going to save that for the beginning of the round. I used the UAV just to get the first round over and done with. And uh, since we planted the bomb, there's a guy coming to try and do something about it. Otherwise they'd lose. So, and there wasn't much time left, you know. I mean, I remember last night I also I, I had the decision to go left or right, and my one decision made it so I was able to, you know, disarm the bomb with no time left. Barely disarmed it. I, I don't even know how it looked that close. And I've seen it happen plenty of times, but just imagine if I stalled any longer, if I went left, it would have just been over. Alright, so let's go over regards' best three starting steps in an offensive search and destroy round. Number one, if you plan on hard scoping, spawn sniping, camping, or rushing, do not pick up the bomb, alright? Uh, if you rush, or if the bomb runner is off in the front with everybody behind them and they die, now you're going to let the other team pretty much fish in a barrel. Because you're going to be the fish trying to get the bomb, and they're looking at the bomb. They have the area covered. Do not let them do that. So keep, you know, those rushers, play as point guard, or flanker. One or two people at the most, go ahead and try flanking a weak you know, side of the map. But that's only if you're really comfortable with the group that's you know, running the bomb. Um, number two, the person that picks up the bomb chooses the bomb they go to in the first place, or they can change that up in the middle because they're the ones with the bomb. Like here, 
you know, we had, you know, the bomb over near B, and then we told them to come over to A because we had A secure, but somebody died behind B, so why plant it over there? Even though it was closer, we had the time to bring it over here and plant it. And, uh, you know, why, why risk getting surrounded and flanked and all that stuff while it's planted and trying to defend? So, yeah. On number three is great. Um, pretty much keep your uh, bomb security tight. <laughs> Do not let your, uh, you know, your teammates wander off too far away, but also don't get too close. Uh, you don't want to be, you know, one big target because you're too close to each other. Just because you have a teammate with you, don't plan it really quick. Make sure the bomb site is secure. Uh, too many times I've had somebody go and plan it right next to me while I'm trying to, like, clear out an area. And their reason was, well, you were there. I'm like, yeah, we were one big target, and we were only able to defend, you know, half of us was able to defend. There's no point. But anyway, in other news, 8 Gaming Network, new forms up. If you were on there before or weren't on there, go sign up anyway, dmax.com. Um, we're looking for graphic designers, you know, video intro for the whole team, layouts for team members. Uh, let's see, uh, pretty much intros for personal videos people are looking for, uh, just editors, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to work with the team, get your name out there a little bit more. Hit us up, rate, comment, subscribe. X regards X out. Thanks for watching.